Good morning, first graders. Today we are on page five of your student journal on page five. And our objective or our goal today is today I will use a number line to subtract. So we're going to be using a number line and we're going to be subtracting or taking away using that strategy. Okay, so let's look at our number line first. Here is a picture of a number line. And notice it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it keeps counting all the way up to 20. Not all number lines look exactly the same, but what happens on a number line is they always start with a smaller number and they grow. It's what, like when we count, we go 1, 2, 3. That's how a number line works. But it says move to the left on the number line when we're subtracting. When you subtract, things get smaller and we're going to take away so we're going to be going backwards on a number line to subtract today. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, then our next words is an equation. An equation is a number sentence that shows equal values on both sides of the equal sign. So here's an example of a subtraction equation. We have what we, the first number is called our minuend. The way we say this is minuend. And it's our starting number. It's how much you start with, what you have sometimes, I like to say. And then we're going to subtract the subtrahend. That's the number that's going to be taken away or subtracted. And then you have an equal sign. And then you have 6 is our difference. So we have 10, we subtract 4, and we're left with 6. That, this is called an equation. Okay, and then here comes the example of how they did this. They found the minuend, or your starting number, on the number line. So they started at 10, and they counted backwards four. So they went one, two, three, four. And when they went to four, counted back four, they ended up on a six. So that tells them the difference. Okay, so let's look at our steps. It says we're gonna find the minuend, or our starting number, of the equation on the number line. So when we find it, we're going to make a dot on it. And then we're going to count back the subtrahend. So we're gonna go backwards, backwards using these. And then we're gonna find and record the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna show you boys and girls what this looks like before we do some together. I'm gonna to grab my red pen. Remember, my red pen means you're just gonna sit and watch for a moment, okay? Okay, so here is my first problem. My first problem says 16 take away or subtract seven. So this is my minuend. So my first step says I'm gonna find the minuend or my starting number. So my minuend is 16, and 16 is right here. Okay, so this is where I'm starting, this is what I have, and they want me to count back or subtract seven. So I have to be really careful when I do this. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I counted back seven because my seven was my subtrahend. And that's where I stopped. That's where I ended up. So what is my difference? My difference is nine. Okay, let me show you another one of those. Okay, my equation is nine subtract five. Okay, so my first step is I'm gonna find my minuend. What am I starting with? My starting number is nine. Okay, and they want me to subtract five. So I'm gonna count back five, ready? One, two, three, four, five. And that's where I am left. So my difference, or my answer, is four. Okay, before we do some together, boys and girls, I want you to notice how carefully I did my counting back. So it's gonna be really important that you count back carefully as well, and we don't get messy. Okay, so let's do some of these together, boys and girls. We are on page six. We're on page six, and here is our first equation. 
Our equation is 10 subtract 8. Okay, so ready? We're going to find our minuend or our starting number on our number line. So here's our starting number, 10. Let's put a dot there. That was our first step. Okay, now our, we want to subtract 8. Our subtrahend is 8, so we're going to count back 8. So I'm going to start right here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we counted back 8 because our subtrahend was 8. And where did we end up? At 2. So our difference or our answer is 2. Okay, so let's look at our next one. Okay, our equation is 11 take away 4 or 11 subtract 4. Okay, so we're going to start with our starting number or our minuend, which is 11. And we're going to count back or subtract our subtrahend. So ready? It's 4. So start right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And what is our solution? 7. Our solution or our difference is 7. This is what we have left. Okay, boys and girls, you're going to be practicing these with your teacher and by yourself. Have a great day. Bye-bye.